Hello and welcome to the Food Lion Kitchen. And today we're making a Mediterranean style chickpea fritter. I'm doing it with the help of Chef's Academy chef Ryan McGuire. So nice to be in the kitchen with you. Great to see you. Yeah. Be in the kitchen with you again. Great. So chickpeas. Yeah. So um, this is a food processor. We're gonna um, end up sort of processing our um, chickpeas and okay. some garlic, some herb. Mm. Uh, a little bit of egg. I'm gonna put some egg in there. So I'm gonna start with uh, some chickpeas here. And some onion. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna pulse this a little bit. Okay. And I'm gonna add my egg to it. Just one? Yep. Okay. The egg is gonna help bind it. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's our chickpeas. I'm gonna add this to this bowl. That's our mixture here. And to this, I'm gonna add some really nice uh, coriander and cumin. Mm -hmm. Spices, the cumin has a really nice smokiness to it. Yeah. Some garlic. Yes. And we'll put a little oil in that pan. I'm gonna ask you for your assistance mm -hmm. in, in sort of patting some of these up. Okay. And we're gonna we're gonna coat them in flour. Mm. Um, I might even add a little bit of flour and some baking powder to our mixture just to make sure that it kind of um, sticks together for okay. us when we patty it up. A little bit of salt. So we have fresh cilantro fresh parsley. And when we mix it together, we just want to make sure that it's going to stick together for us and it'll be able to patty it. We'll be okay. able to patty them up. We found all these great fresh ingredients at Food Lion. Yeah, definitely. All right, let's see what we have here. So we're just using our hands, mm -hmm. see if you can patty them up like, like so. You got it. And it seems like it's going to work pretty well for us. Okay. It's, holding together nicely. Alrighty. And then just, you might want, want to coat it lightly in a little bit of flour. It's gonna give it a nice uh, brown um, texture on the outside. Okay. So our oil is up to temperature. Okay. You can see it's sort of shimmering just yes, a little bit. Yes, I see that. And then we're gonna take these uh, and, and gently uh, place them in, the, in our pan. Uh, always place it away from you so that the, the oil doesn't splash, splash up on you. So once we once we have it nice and going brown on one side, we'll flip them over and I'm gonna finish it in the oven for a little bit. Okay. Okay, chef, they're out of the oven. Nice, nice going brown. Yeah. Um, we're just gonna pull them out, set them on our cutting board here. Mm -hmm. And like I said, this would be a perfect hors d'oeuvre. Uh, you could put a little, um, maybe a yogurt dip. Ooh. Something Sounds like tzatziki nice. yeah. would go nice on top. And we actually have a little bit to uh, put on top of it. Maybe garnish it with a little bit of an herb. Mm -hmm. So here's our tzatziki. Go for it. Yeah. All right. Give it a shot. Best part. Make it a little hot. Mmm. Give the, the herbs. That is so spices. flavorful. Yeah. That is delicious. Good. And that yogurt sauce just, just really sets it off. Awesome. Like tzatziki. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. You're welcome. This is great. I'm going to finish it off. Try this at home. You can find the recipe on our website. We're at mycarolinatoday.com.